Hi there, Ian McMichael here. I currently sit on the National Executive of the Pharmaceutical Society um, and I'm standing for re-election for another four years and I've got some unfinished business to do. And one of those um, areas of unfinished business is around mental health and addiction. Now, as a result of the inquiry, mental health and addiction services is foremost, uh, one of the foremost things in the government's uh, thinking. Um, and for me, pharmacy needs to be in there um, really um, having the conversation about the different types of services that we can provide. So I'd like to be able to see pharmacists providing a whole range of services um, and for those services to be um, to be initiated over the next four years. Now the sorts of things I'd like to be able to see is things like point of care testing for clozapine patients, um, cardiovascular risk assessment for uh, people who are on atypicals, um, even things like ECG, so ECGs being able to done to be done from community pharmacists, uh, from by community pharmacists and in community pharmacies, um, and I'd also love to see methadone prescribing being done by community pharmacists um, out of the out of community pharmacy. So, I'd very much appreciate your support um, for another four years, um, so I can help drive these things forward, so that we are getting pharmacy on the forefront of services for mental health and addiction. Thank you.